Well, the Senate held a confirmation hearing today for Betsy DeVos. She's Donald Trump's pick to be Secretary of Education. DeVos has spent many millions of her own money promoting charter schools, school vouchers, and other forms of school choice. That, of course, makes her the bitter enemy of unionized teachers who are fighting hard to block her nomination. One of DeVos's biggest, biggest critics has not worked for a teacher's union. He's a Tulane University economics professor, Douglas Harris, and he's written multiple articles about school choice, many of them criticizing her, Betsy DeVos, and saying that her way is the wrong way to fix American schools. Professor Harris joins us tonight from New Orleans. Professor, thanks for coming on. Tucker, thanks for having me. So you don't seem like a reflexive opponent of trying something different in the public schools. What exactly is your problem with Betsy DeVos's approach? Yeah, I agree that there, there need to be changes. And I think even her starting point for this with school choice is a good starting point. You know, the problem is that's also the ending point. You know, she, that's the one principle, and there aren't other principles that need to go along with this. You know, so uh, choice, and we've seen this in other places. We've seen it with vouchers. We've seen it with the virtual schools that she supported. We've seen it with some, some versions of charter schools, including some in Michigan, uh, where the market is left to, to roam on its own in, in a Wild West fashion, and it just doesn't generate good results. Uh, so so it, in, the, in the lead in, in, the lead in you, it, it suggested that all this criticism is from the left, but actually the, the concerns that I have are much more pragmatic. Yeah, no, and I, and I try to make that clear. I, I don't think that you're a teacher's union hack, and I, and I don't know what your politics are, but I take, I take your criticism seriously because I think it is serious. But you said this in a piece that you wrote about um, this, the school choice experiment in the city of Detroit. You said uh, of the results. One well-regarded study found that Detroit's charter schools performed at about the same dismal level as its traditional public schools. That doesn't seem like that much of an indictment, actually. Its schools are... I think the worst in America, certainly close, 4% past the math proficiency in eighth grade. And so if the results are not worse, but parents have a choice, why is it not a good starting place for school reform? Well, first of all, in, in Detroit, if you look at you know, where the city is compared to other urban districts, Detroit is by far the lowest performing district in the country, uh -huh. and there's no debate about that. And the charter experiment in the city has been going on for 20 years. And the logic of choice and the logic of free market competition is that it's supposed to make the whole system work better, that you introduce uh, new operators, new, new kinds of organizations. There it's mostly for-profit organizations. That that's going to create competition with the public schools and everybody's going to get better. This has been going on for 20 years, and Detroit is still f by far the worst performing district right. in the country uh, in these urban schools. So if, if it was going to work, uh, I think that it's had its chance. Uh, and well, but it, but it has worked. No, but, but, but hold on. I mean, I think maybe both of okay. us are assuming that schools can fix the problem. I and mean, let's be totally honest. If you take a population that has a whole lot of other problems going on and no intact families and poverty and all the problems in Detroit, it's pretty tough for schools to fix that. But isn't it, it true is, that in a lot of other places, in, in your city, New Orleans, here in Washington, alternatives to traditional right. public education charter schools have really worked? And she's for that. That's so right. Why is that bad? Well, because what, they're actually two completely different uh, kinds of systems. So Detroit and New Orleans right. and these other cities are really a tale of two cities. You know, Detroit's system is much more like a voucher system where the money goes to the schools and the schools, uh, and, and there's no oversight, right. there's no coordination of the system. New Orleans is quite different, and as is D.C. In New Orleans, uh, there's a centralized enrollment system to make sure that all students are being served. Uh, there's a, a centralized uh, a discipline system so that, that schools can't just uh, get rid of students and, and kick them out because, right. uh, because they're disruptive. They make, they, they're, there's a little bit of oversight. There's still choice. There are no attendance zones. Families can choose uh, the schools that they want. But there's also uh, somebody minding the store to make sure that all students are being served. And I'm, makes, I'm aware, sure of, aware of all that, low and, and I agree with all out. that, and I think those are all good. But the, what Detroit and New Orleans and Washington all have in common is there alternatives to the teachers union run monopoly that has really hurt students in a lot of other American cities? And Betsy DeVos at the broadest level is for trying something new, unlike I would say virtually every other secretary of education I've seen. So why isn't it good? Why isn't she an improvement over what we've had? Well, first of all, I don't think it's fair. I don't think anybody would argue that say, Arnie Duncan and John King, the, the last two uh, secretaries of education, yeah. were not in favor of changing things. Uh, they changed a lot and, and under great controversy. And they've, they've been very controversial. They've been very aggressive, especially at the federal level, and it's been the federal involvement that's been uh, the challenge. You know, but, but back to DeVos, the issue here isn't about whether we need to improve schools. The issue is 
in the cities where they're not functioning well. And a lot of places, the public schools are doing fine. It's in the places where they're not doing well right. that, that there should be some intervention. You know, that choice is a good starting point, yep. uh, but it can't be the ending point. That, that We need to go further. We still need to have a role for, for government. It just needs to be different than the way it has worked so well, far. Well, I, I agree with you there. Doug, thanks a lot. Nice to have you.